Welcome back to Put You On. My name is Michael. I'm here with my dad. Hey everyone, it's Mike. And today we're listening to an album called Plastic Beach. It's by Gorillaz. We've done one Gorillaz album so far. Yeah. You liked it very much. I like them. Yeah. Um, that's one of my favorite albums that we did. This is right there with it, if not my favorite of theirs. I just noticed we're in blue and white, black and white. We're going <laughs> to... Oh, and speaking of, not that this is... I don't know how relevant this will be at the time this comes out. But, uh, we were just saying in the last Taylor video how like, I was like, you know, hopefully she takes a break and... Yeah, no, nope, not going to happen. Apparently, t as of today, she started teasing... She changed her profile to black and white, and she's teasing her new mm. <laughs> Taylor's version of a different album, which is like, ah, it's fucking crazy. So Sticking I a think killer mic. That it must. It might have been almost like a year ago. It was one of the first videos we did in this setup. Was that Gorillaz album, which was Demon mm. Days, that had like the MF Doom feature. Um, it had a. It, it was an album that you liked very much. And one of my favorites. It, yeah, I always like their uh, little cartoon images. and Right, they have the little storyline. I'm sure that's why MF Doom enjoyed them as well. Yeah. You know? So that was their second album that we did, mm -hmm. Demon Days. That was like 2006, I think. Mm -hmm. um, or no, that was 2005, something like that. I don't think they've been active of late, right? Like, No, he still he still makes yeah. music actively. Yeah, their last, I mean, it's been a little while since their last album. It was like 2020, I think um getting there yeah it's been a little while but he's always making music that him being damon alburn who's you know sort of the the brains okay the the, the singer the mastermind behind gorillas mm -hmm. um pretty much he's in charge of most of the music creation yeah, i like their sound um so this is the third album that came after that it's called plastic beach um this is probably one of their highest acclaimed albums um a very nostalgic album for me like demon days is um because i was listening to demon days when i was younger mm -hmm. but what got me into gorillas was plastic beach because this was a little i was a little bit this was coming out when i was like you know more aware of music a little bit mm -hmm. 10 11 years old 12 years old this is when you know i was starting to get into more music so this is what got me into them uh, and then I would go back and listen to all their older stuff. Mm. I know it's been a long time since we did the last album, but that's sort of at the forefront for me always. Uh, sonically, the way the album sound is very fantastic. Good beats. I know they put out good beats. Yeah. I mean, Damon's just a very, you know, one of those guys like Tim Impala we talk about that's just a wild instrumentalist yeah. singer. He can just kind of create these mm. soundscapes. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to not talk too much okay uh, it's 16 tracks the first track is called orchestral intro and it's featuring let me not mess up the name sin fiona viva Just let it go right into oh that was nice uh, yeah very uh, short some of my favorite sounds like ships and seagulls and water yeah and bringing in that orchestra nice uh, that sort of is like the pre-intro that leads directly into the mm. opening track so i'll just let it go right into it okay which is welcome to the world of plastic of the plastic beach it's featuring the hypnotic brass ensemble so another <laughs> you know, musical feature and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> Gorillas in the boss dog, planet of the apes.
Very rich sound. Oh, yeah. Push peace and keep it in motion. Kids gather around. Yeah, I need your focus. I know it seems like the world is so hopeless. It's like Wonderland. So quick, so fast. All the kids say they love me when I make them laugh. Welcome to the world of the plastic beach. Yeah. Welcome to the world of the plastic beach. Welcome to the world of the plastic beach. Yeah. Welcome to the world of the plastic beach. Welcome to the world of the plastic beach. Yeah, just say one sentence and he make and, and they can make so many sounds around that it's uh yeah that's pretty wild it's just letting everything soak in that track you know all it, the... yeah it was very chill very very warm bass and drum sound but um really rich sounding you know like it really yeah. it wasn't it wasn't over powerful it was just like super cool you yeah, know it's... which led into the the way snoop was rapping like you know very uh methodical and slow and yeah pretty chill song he matches the like uh laid back yeah very flow of the corona track. beach vibe like, yeah yeah exactly. commercials yeah. <laughs> you, could, you could almost see that <laughs> he's just sitting that exact there. scene yeah. him just kind of sitting back welcoming you yeah to the island so track three is white flag and it's featuring the National Orchestra of Arabic Music. Arabic? Arabic, Arabic, Jesus. Arabic, <laughs> Arabic music. <laughs> Kano. Barris Charston, Essam Rafaya, and Bashi. And if I messed up any of those, so be it. But there's a lot of features. Sounds like uh, Assam and Bashi are Arab, Arab, Arabic. Arabic, too. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is White Flag, track three. No Killer Mike? No. Oh. Can you belly dance? I'm not gonna try. Can you make a snake come out of the basket? <laughs> I like the things that the ladies wear on their fingers. Oh, like the little bolts. Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Make an Arabic music sound. Hip. That's interesting. Survivor, I ain't lost and this ain't shipwrecked. I feel small in this big wide world. And mommy ain't said, honey, I shrunk the kids yet. I ain't Jesus, but I'm walking on water. There's no bombs here, there's no walkers. I can break out of jail with a lighter. So is there any point in making laws blood? This ain't Atlantis, are you sure? I nearly suffocated when I touch the shore. Where the women look hot, but the beach cold. And the speech goes like hi, little lady. Six on the beach, wanna try for a baby. Word in the Village, I'm a little bit crazy. Swagger on a hundred degrees, no A. Look, if heaven had a VIP, uh, this is it, white sand, blue sea. Uh, Integrating them, we ain't leaving. We come on a peace sing. White flag, white flag. It's like a movie soundtrack. <laughs> Great. You can just see everything. Bravo. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was intoxicating. Yeah. It's fucking hypnotic. Man, that was really good. Then you have the nice rap chunk in the back. It's almost like two guys 
kind of going back and forth talking to each other about what they're seeing and <laughs> yeah, what the I environment's could, like. I, I would guess the one was a British a British rapper. He sounded like he had a British yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I don't. I don't know that we hear too many British rap. No, we haven't done a lot. Uh, there's really. many. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's become more popular uh, in America like the past couple of years. Definitely, mm -hmm. there's a lot of rappers that are starting. I to... I like the sound of it. Yeah, but I mean, those instrumentation is just oh, this the orchestra was <laughs> terrific. <laughs> the strings, the drums, the bass. I mean, yeah. I just got finished watching. You know, for the building of time, John Bonham do his Moby Dick solo. Oh, and, and the garden. Yeah. And you can just hear how hard it is to, you know, those bongos to have get your, the sounds. your fingers. Yeah. I mean, to get it so all the pops. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. But that's, I mean, that that's like a movie in a song. It's like from the start the build to the raps the instrumental switches i like the rap was i guess you know also like you said i get what they try to do is build their world like he's yeah it's like know, they're talking kind about of what proclaiming they're seeing. that their flag is white and you know welcome to the plastic beach world and you could hear you know uh like a celebration it felt like it felt like a celebration yeah you know almost like a uh, something like at the Olympics, like an opening, you know, opening ceremony. Exactly. Really felt yeah. very upbeat, uplifting, it's like really easy to listen to. Snoop Dogg met you at the, at the, at the dock. It was still chill. Yeah. But now yeah. you're like, now you're in there. You're yeah, in this you're world. Being welcome to the, uh, I felt like I was walking into like a, uh, you know, like a big Parthenon. Right. You know, like some big ancient arena. <laughs> Track four is rhinestone eyes no fingers i'm a scary gargoyle there he is yeah. <laughs> that you made with plastic power your rhinestone eyes are like factories far away where the paralytic dreams that we all seem to keep drive on engines till they weep with future pixels in factories far away. Incredible. <laughs> All the little vocal samples and stuff. Helicopters fly over the beach, same time every day, same routine. Clear target in summer, and skies are blue. It's part of the noise when winter comes, it reverberates in my lungs. song's fucking badass <laughs> really good <laughs> it's like as soon as he comes in it's like you feel that power of damon you know he he brings such a different sound to yeah his voice is very unique you, you know it when you hear it um but I, I, it still feels very chill even though the beat is funky oh yeah uh he his delivery is you know something far away like it's yeah. still you know those synths are just yeah i mean there's like maybe <laughs> three or four different synth sounds in there yeah and then you have like the big ones that are washing over like the <laughs> sounds like planes <laughs> yeah. dive bombing yeah i mean that song is very so trippy badass. very funky very still chill voice yeah i, lo I like it i and like this, it a lot this is a lot of what was on their first two records which is like 
the mm. songs that have some of the most dire or dark subject matter have the most catchy <laughs> yeah yeah beats uh, so i don't know if you're picking up on any of the uh, yeah i hear it but i hear uh, it the breathing again breathe in the toxins yeah the speaking pixels of, built in a factory far away yeah oceans rising yeah temperature nobody knows what to do with the temperature yeah uh, so there's a lot of themes throughout this album of climate change yeah uh, humans effect on the planet track six is called stylo it's featuring mo steff and bobby womack wow that's <laughs> right up patrick's alley <laughs> yeah. he, he loves all that stuff he still does right yeah but it's all warm it's like, yeah yeah just really wants you to you know yeah Bobby Womack, yeah. Oh, this is this is Damon. Oh, it is. Yeah. You, you'll definitely know when Bobby comes okay. in. It, it's distinct. When the Mako flies up from the bottom in your eyes. It's this love is electric. That's Bobby. Yeah. It'll be flowing on the street. Yeah, baby. Just to get through the week Sometimes it's hard But now It's got a way of passing through man and woman In another world In another world In the universe have one where we dead <laughs> oh it always happens <laughs> it always happens to me <laughs> right when you really catch the oh man i hate that that's that a, was that could have gone on for like woo. that's a legendary track damn legendary track i mean one of the most killer grooves oh i ever i mean <laughs> yeah what a riff and then, uh, I mean, and the blend of those three artists somehow perfect, perfect. like makes the most seamless. You have a rapper, someone singing soulfully, Soul, and then soulfully. Damon doing the low. Oh, but no. Oh, oh but no. Oh, but no. <laughs> Everything. What is he saying? I think overload. Oh, oh but no. I thought it was oh, like all for love. Oh, but no. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then to have Bobby just, you know. Oh, belting, yeah, baby. slowly just belting <laughs> over that. It's like it's cool how the, each different artist makes the sound, the song sound different in its own. You know, like most F easily that could be a rap song. You could have most F rapping over that whole thing if, if he did to. the whole thing. Or it could Bobby just be could have taken the over. Horn, or it could just or, be Damon. I agree, but they all just mix. I agree, this. and he and he divvied them up fairly. I would say. Yeah, they each have their own little yeah piece. Yeah, that's a feature. Oh like, yeah, I'll do my. I'll bring it in. You come in, and, and then you finish it and off. That's what I love. That about, was great about 
Damon None Auburn. of this disjointed stuff yeah. it feels like. Damon Auburn is like a, a maestro. Like, he knows how to... Wear it, wear yeah. it. He's yeah. not just throwing them on for the name, for the I agree. recognition. Like, he knows... It's like what Kanye does, too. They know who's going to fit on here, and it's going to make the song better. This is Super Fast Jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, probably affected by the electro <laughs> right right because you know a, a jellyfish are slow right so yeah again thematically right everything's yeah yeah fitting in they've been freak uh, freaked <laughs> this is featuring vincent mason kelvin mercer dave jolacour de la soul and gruff reese wow so a wow. lot of a lot of artists he brought into damn this you know creation here so yeah this is track six this morning, you've got time for a hot home-cooked breakfast. <laughs> Delicious and piping hot in only three microwave minutes. I know you love those old... Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty packages of frosted delights. Look, it comes with a toy. <laughs> I like that. I want a number four, number six, and throw in a Damn plastic donut. Great. Just enjoy the gritty crunch. It tastes <laughs> just like chicken. Plastic Rapid donut. Many bite sizes. Man, are you freaking blind? It's a rock. All mixed in the pot full. Mama's homemade from scratch. Well, not, not quite. quite. Toasted over flames. They be tasting <laughs> quite, quite right. right. Give it a mic key. Neptune Don't need it. <laughs> no snail thing too quick for his water feeders. Super fast, super fast, coming last. But just in time for breakfast. Oh, how weird. Keep it true, forever blue. The night, the night, throws out to his luminum. A crucial fun, aluminum. The sea is radioactive. The sea is radioactive. Oh, hell, King Neptune. And his water breathers No snail thing too quick for his water feeders Don't waste time with your net Our net worth is set Ready, go, many no others but Very uh, MF Doom esque right? Like that uh, the, mm, Yeah, yeah, yeah But I actually like that You know, that's like It reminds me of the really old rapping And I I I think I think when I left rap It, it was when it left this style the old school yeah lows. just yeah just nice yeah like <laughs> I'd, yeah so that was a little set satire-esque i'd get i'd say yeah you know tongue-in-cheek i mean speaking of uh food and what you're putting in your body yeah plastic, yeah yeah the crap and which you know, again that's something still that is so relevant yeah. how many times have you heard of you know microplastics and all that stuff yeah. past couple of years well at least they don't put the toys in the cereal anymore like they used to i mean that yeah that was big i mean you're straight up putting a hunk of factory plastic inside of food yeah <laughs> well it was i mean in most cases it was in a but still it's in a plastic wrap it was in a plastic so it's, wrap yeah, yeah i probably ingested a lot yeah but and, again the fact that these are things that he was honing in on yeah that's so yeah, how Relevant much of now. that we, yeah. Um, track seven is called Empire Ants. Oh, no. It's featuring Little Dragon. Little Dragon is a really cool, like, Swedish group, electronic group. Okay. Um, the lead singer has a beautiful voice. You'll hear her on this track. Uh, probably, if I had to make, like, off-the-cuff favorite songs of all time top 10 this is without a doubt on there maybe even top five songs all time it's probably one of my most listened to songs ever and it's one of That's my high praise favorite songs ever from any artist wow don't like the title but i i absolutely hate man yeah <laughs> i have like a unhealthy fear of them and what is it called? Like a phobia. A phobia. Yeah. This is nice. nice. Subtle. Space out of my 
didn't expect that shit. Woo. Pretty, pretty, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like that still. Just as good every time. <laughs> so good. <sighs> I, I absolutely picked up on the, I mean, the, the, the um, sophistication of the synth on that one was oh, man. more than just your average, like, disco tune. Uh, you know, it had, like, deet, 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 deet. like, I could hear that going while other aspects of synth were being yeah. you know layered on Fuzzy top ones top. reverbed ones yeah <laughs> glistening yeah. high synths and it started out pretty dreamlike you know i, I like the little yeah. it sounded like a very soft uh soft uh, like drum. a soft shoe like almost like a soft tap dance like the little feet the ants oh you had to say that i i i wasn't thinking that but and a beautiful guitar too yeah, I mean, just in the first half. Yeah, very dreamlike, and then boom, that transition <laughs> is <laughs> it, just, uh, it just pumped in. But yeah, her like you're saying, she yeah that her was fit into that second half is like mad. It's perfect. Like I, I would almost say it was like a it felt a little paramore ish, but less intense. But like on her level, you know that that the range, the prettiness of it. Yeah, when, you know. And the really cool part about that is that it's called Empire Ants, but the ant portion of it is more relating to people, not mm, ants, mm. humanity. Uh, what, while they probably are, you know, uh, thematic, they didn't they didn't stand out to me this time because she her delivery was just so pretty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a gorgeous song. I mean, she could have been talking about anything, and I was just yeah. you know captivated. But cherry on top is the that i love is the topic like of uh thinking of <laughs> your life and your dreams and mm. i don't know in a weird way it's kind of a morbid song for me it feels like an end of life mm. sort of mm. memory flashing type thing of like thinking of what you did and you know did you yeah yeah did you leave your mark yeah and but it's but it's well, also like there's a comfort in uh in what she's saying in the second half, you go into the lyrics of like, it feels nice to be a, accepted into society and be accepted into, you know, this path of, you know, being successful or getting, fitting in with everyone. Like I, I can kind of see both sides of like, it's not just, to me, it's a complex song and where it's not just saying like, don't follow the machine, don't, don't dive into, cause you know, anyone could say that like, yeah, break apart. But there's also a thing of like fitting into society and finding your people and finding your way. The next track's called Glitter Freeze, oh. featuring Mark E. Smith. You know what that is now? The Morse code. SOS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which also fits this one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two. <laughs> Where's North from here? 
It sounds like a Pink Floyd intro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, you wouldn't get Beatles from this, but... <laughs> Little, little element. Yeah, yeah the, you know, I forget which one it was, but I was gonna say something about it, and I said, let me not do I do it too much in the past. This one's like, you play with the dials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Daft Punk level yeah. <laughs> sound. Yeah. Manicness and... Yeah, you've got your you've got your rock you've got your rock guitar thing yeah. going, but you got the you know short circuiting like you know you get your brain fried. The lobotomy. yeah, <laughs> or the, the <laughs> electro nipple batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe they have to take our teeth out because we we've eaten all sugary cereal. Right, right. <laughs> Ship in for. Yeah, that, I mean, if anybody's influenced by Pink Floyd, that's right up their alley. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm glad you said that because that's that's how it felt. Especially with sure. the, that guy doing the little Oh, the uh, accent, yeah. Which intro. way north from here? <laughs> <laughs> you can't have any yeah. meat if you don't eat your pudding. <laughs> what I love. Oh, the other way around. How yeah. can you have your pudding yeah. if you don't eat your What meat? I love so much about this album is like, he just does not, he does not seem phased by doing different things on different songs. Like he's not trying to, like some songs have no vocals of him. Some songs yeah. have all features taking over. Some yeah. songs a blend. Some songs are just instrumentation. Yeah, not like the last Killers one. We we Gorillas. Gorillas one where we you know, it it was it was them. There was a lot of his vocals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one's totally like yeah, so I, creative and yeah, just which we've heard on a few rap. Yeah. Albums too, but. And I always like when it's super creative and free while still being cohesive. And yeah, not you could still have. Like random. Yeah, you could have tracks. two in a row and then break out with this or a, you know, break out dance one and then back to your, you know. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, nobody can, you know, enjoy the same flavor throughout the whole meal. That's just a fun. You're doing it on purpose now. <laughs> <laughs> that one I did. <laughs> the next one's called Some Kind of Nature. It's featuring Lou Reed. All oh, right. He had JPEG Mafia on an album. Whoa. <laughs> one of the one of their last Some albums. Some kind of nature. <laughs> there he is. Some kind of soul. Some kind of mixture. Some kind of gold. Some kind of majesty. Some chemical load. load. Yeah, I mean, Lou Reed was never a. Uh... A conformist kind of either. Yeah, he's yeah. You know. kind of plastic I could wrap around you. The needy eat man made they wear phony clothes. They sit with our picture with an ill big Some kind of nature, some kind of soul. He really just sounds like he's just talking. Low read. Yeah, so that's yeah, his new career was kind of new. Holly came from Miami, FLA. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Some kind of mixture, some kind of gold. It's gonna come find us. All we are is stars. I give that one uh, an okay. Yeah, it's not my favorite either. Yeah, I mean. It's not bad. Right, but if you know Lou Reed, that's just kind of his thing. So I think that the song lent itself to his feature, definitely. Yeah, it it made sense. There wasn't much else going on. Yeah, no hook. No. Damon sounds nice, but he's more in the back seat. Yeah, to- yeah. It was it was a, a a nod to Lou Reed and letting him have that one. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. I mean, letting him talk about plastic something. You know, I heard it. Yeah. But which at pretty much every song to some level has. Yeah, we, you know, I, which, which I think is good, you know, if you're going to stick with the theme. It's just a lot about nature, humanity, 
That's yeah. sort of the overarching. Some kind. We're going to have some kind of one, but of it might whatever. not be the one we exactly. know today. Yeah. <laughs> this is called On Melancholy Hill. Actually, it has a very European feel, like European radio type of thing, you know, from the 90s. Sounds like a little baby dinosaur coming out of an egg or yeah. something. Right? Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> like, wow. A little lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Such great uh, vocal harmonies, uh, Damon. bell outro songs like a factory reset for your brain <laughs> it's like yeah I, I i could see i i could i could see your hand reactions and i i see where you pick up like on the uh you you really dissect songs so i mean there's so like, much like nobody i there's know so many layers of yeah sounds and i i just don't it's know wild. how many people do what you do with a song with music <laughs> honestly so for me that that felt, I, I mean, I, I had to keep reminding myself that this is 2010. That yeah. feels very 90s, 80s, UK. Yeah. Like where maybe they weren't getting some of the big, uh, almost like a UK act that's, that, that made it to the radio and had a, you know, a, a nice little hit, but it wasn't really, uh, you know, like it didn't take over the world. That's... That that's a very interesting thing to be able to do in 2010, to to give it that feeling of like a simpler time in in Europe. I'd say, um, I, it really has a European feel to it, and I, I can't tell you, I can't describe why. To me, it's more like a somewhat feeling of peace and calmness, which is why it's not a, it's supposed to be a sad sounding song. Mm. It's like a somewhat peaceful song, but it's not overly joyous. It's not like a celebratory. Oh, then that's, yeah. It's sort of like being at kind of at ease. That was that. Being, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's how I felt. I felt like it took me to a simpler time of life. Not, not super high. <laughs> no. Not super low. Nope. Just sort of. Yeah. Like in the a, middle. Maybe you're reflecting And, and, and that's kind of, that was things. my best way of describing it. Like a time before the internet, a time before cell phones. Yeah, it's a time like, of. It's almost like a nostalgic. Yeah, very very feel very it could have been called nostalgia hill <laughs> yeah and that's why i was trying to describe and that's why the best way i could do it was saying like right when i was hearing that music it feels like a time like something, machine sort of exactly track uh <laughs> track 11 is called broken so back-to-back -back songs with no features here a lot of features on this album right i mean yeah you just see you just scroll good. it's a good sign He just finds the coolest sounds. Like, <laughs> there's not a single synth on this album that sounds similar to the previous track. No, this sounds like wolves in the wild. Yeah, this is like Halloween. <laughs> there's a 
distant stars come and fly or red I've seen their worlds inside my head Welcome you know for so long I just would always associate this voice with the monkey the 2d yeah I'm that's sure all that's I knew not of by it. Cohen. well that's all they showed yeah yeah but until now that I know what he looks like and everything right isn't that wild? You could it's really like literally. I would picture the monkey singing the song, <laughs> <laughs> like that movie which, Patrick made me watch. But it is what they <laughs> they meant to do that though. At the, the yeah, 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 it came out. They would use the character. Yeah, just them. like Daft Punk. Exactly. Don't focus on me. Focus on what you're hearing, which I love. That yeah, aspect. it is pretty cool. This is cool. Yeah, I feel that's Very like a, a, a nice chill, a nice break now from, you know, yeah, uh, like an interlude almost. Nothing super. Yeah, like a nice interlude contemplative to the or, next, you know, the final, the final third. Yeah, just great synth work, drums. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's got a, his voice is talent. Is, we talked about his voice the whole song. So. <laughs> yeah, it, it's super so, silky. Right, it, it wouldn't be on my top ten list of singers. Right. Yeah, but for the it's, gorillas it's, collect, like what he's doing as a project, like who, it works perfectly. Right. Who, like Tame Impala, is in that ilk too. His voice oh, yeah. goes really well with the the sound that the he's sound that he to. generates. The next one is Sweepstakes. It's featuring the Hypnotic Brass Ensemble again. So oh, he has these nice. sort of okay. You know, clearly there's a lot of live instrument work oh, that I went into it. this I record. love studio musicians. Uh, and most F again. I like this part in a song when I never know how to tap my foot yet. Yeah, it's like, you get from where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so now I know it's... It's pretty trippy start to a song. Huh? Pretty trippy start to a song. Like you're saying, it's not, you yeah. don't really know where it's going. But yeah, this is, they used to do this in some of the uh, British punk, like, you know, call out like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was big in the 90s and 80s. This wasn't, but. I mean, this kind. I don't yeah. know what it is. But. Oh, my heart's pumping, man. Yeah, yeah. that's wild. It's like a fucking circus. It was like a circus. <laughs> uh, a circus. A roller coaster. Yeah. Most stuff is so talented. Yeah. I mean, to be able to... Imagine hearing that in the studio and being like, yeah, I throw can, something over I there. I could throw something down. Most artists, well, would, most rappers would be like, what the fuck? No, especially like how we watch that behind the scenes. Like, Oh, with Metro? and I, I uh, mean, I guess ASAP. you have to sit there and just yeah, wait for inspiration. Try to work something into yeah, it. Yeah, you can't just be given that. And But I mean, the amount of instrumentals and like chaos in that song, for him to find any sort of Below with where it was actually hitting certain spots like and certain spots yeah you could feel that and the words would hit it it's like <laughs> but the music's just fucking it still goes whether he's, what are the, it's almost like hey if you can hop in here do it because we're not stopping so yeah this is the title track plastic beach 
Mick Jones and Paul Simon and 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 Eminem. <laughs> Simon and Eminem. <laughs> It was like a Western, spaghetti Western. Yeah. Hey, gringo. Don't do it. What are you doing? <laughs> let's, leave my, let's, let's leave that in the past. Leave my daughter alone. <laughs> or uh, Once Upon a Time, remember? Mm. Tell your daughter to come here and play her chili pepper hard out. <laughs> Grab her fiddle. <laughs> okay, see? And now? Yeah, that's gone. And now you now you settle into something. And how long is that? A minute? 40 seconds, yeah. Yeah, first minute is key. It's not wild. It's not corny, but he's playing an homage to when, yeah, when all this computer stuff was just coming out. Uh, if you used it in your music, it was like, you know, you, you were so advanced to have any kind of computer sound, right? Especially since I mean, anything they, that's not live. Yeah, they're not. They're nowhere near where they are. Where they are now is nowhere where they used to be in a song. They were yeah. very simple. Yeah. This just goes to show you how, you know, sophisticated it is. But he's still talking about a Casio. And I, I mean, when I tell you, like. Is that a, am I trip? Is that not a computer uh, it, it, keyboard? It might be. I mean, they probably own different things. But, but when we were kids having to, you had to get a Casio. Like, it was the only type of calculator they'd let you use. Do you remember in high school, like. Yeah. When you had to have a test and they said, Yeah. Oh, it's got to be this Everyone one. Everyone had with to the, have the same. With the pi or the square root indicator. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing this is what he's talking about. I'm oh, guessing. Oh, probably. But look up Casio calculator. Yeah. It's probably on. But eBay. I would assume <laughs> in this context, it's probably. Yeah, I guess it him depends on playing the, the Casio. <laughs> Forgive me, old timer here. <laughs> I mean, just, it's, it's got to be a Casio calculator for Let's sure. Let's see. Casio calculator oh this there it is we had one in our house yeah well, I for mean, a long time we, yeah I, because we, you we have to use it all the time yeah yeah it's probably this like the more right this yep like the very simple yep just the buttons yep. plus divide minus yep. add yep that's it which is that's a relic yeah if you have a phone you don't need that i don't know if that shows up on camera if not i'll put a picture yeah Let's see i mean it's a relic Track 14 is to binge. I already okay. said this one. This is Little Dragon again as a feature. See that, that right there. For me, you might not feel it. This just feels like a way back music. Like stuff I would listen to on the radio when I'm sitting there eating breakfast going to grammar school. I'd 
happy little trees. <laughs> So many playful synth sounds on this album. That's wild. together so well. Yeah, they do. Those two. They both have such smooth delivery. You should bring her in. <laughs> the female monkey. <laughs> she can have her own character. Yeah, really nice. Very pretty, bright. Yeah, very... Sounds. Yeah, very... Tropical. There's the water. Seagulls. Nice. Yeah, that was cool. It's like sun setting, end of the day. Very cool. Having your uh, you and your lover. Sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> Laying back. Yeah. Pretty. And yeah, yeah more. It was pretty. Uh, yeah, very more much. raw vocals from. Yeah, if Dan. that was a one-off, I I might I and you said. Tell me who's singing this. I would have to really search my brain. Yeah. They, they, they're they just a great combination. That was good. I mean, they struck gold. Like you said, if they were in the studio together, those two. Oh, man. Somehow they ended up working together. And great. Just yeah, I mean, that was, a, that, was a, that, was, that was actually a duet. Oh, yeah. It wasn't just a feature. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Cloud of Unknowing with, mm. again, Sinfonia Viva and again, Bobby Womack. So again, more oh, wow. repeat cloud features. of a mushroom cloud. <laughs> nice segue. On the cloud of a knowing, my world seems open. Every satellite up here is watching But I was here from the very start Trying to find someone you never know Sinking love on the cloud of unknowing. pretty very pretty gorgeous those string string work is yeah a phenomenal i mean the placement of it is great we're coming to the coming down you know, a little the bit. next to last one yeah. and wow that just like put it in a whole like you you said almost that contemplative state at the end exactly. where you know kind of the unknown your... is about to happen you said it perfectly <laughs> exactly what i was gonna uh, say the feeling of a no feeling of uncertainty in a track and sound trying to express it to you yeah. yeah yeah so the final track track 16 is called pirate jet no features and the water and everything comes Pir pirate jet yeah all the island sounds come in Just the way much more started. at the end of the album like the beginning yeah Pirate jet, pirate jet. <laughs> because 
Cause we left the taps Running for a hundred years <laughs> So drink into the drink Plastic cup drink Drink with the purple The people The plastic eating people Still connected To the moment it began Yeah, I, I, I've never <clears throat> let it play out. I've never heard. I, I, I would. There's no way to not consider this a socially uh, uh, a, a social commentary oh, album all the way through. Right? Yeah, I, I, I've never heard something so commercially um, driven by a con, you know a conservation stamp point yeah. of view by someone you might not even realize is, is a conservationist yeah. you know leave the tap uh, water running yeah i i mean that's just those are great lines and the whole concept of you know uh the future and plastic and where we are today i mean i can't you know like i said i can't get over how that's exactly the sky we had for days yeah it is wow um, i never even thought about that yeah um but you know maybe some like maybe some big artists like maybe bruce springsteen or somebody they'll make a you know one or two songs like that are you know make you think and make make you aware that they're thinking about it but yeah nothing For a whole record. like dedicated to it especially where you don't think that they make like really social commentary music yeah i i think that's what probably makes this a pet project of theirs where it's probably special for them in that he he had this idea to just, you know, come up with this based on a trip. Yeah. And that's, that's why I think at first, like, like I said, I could see doing one or two songs. Yeah. So I think at first, maybe the kind of genius of it didn't click with everyone, which, yeah. which with a lot of real great albums that happens sometimes where mm, mm. like i said it didn't get back it got good reviews when it came out but mm -hmm. i can just tell that over time it's one that so many people go back to and are like okay uh, I, I, mean, I mean this was really a special it's kind of a no-brainer it's a big <clears throat> standout in their discography i mean all their albums are great but there's something so special about like you said just taking one concept and making a full project off of it and then still keeping it varied with the sounds and Which, the features and and if you think about it that's exactly what pink floyd did with the wall yep um the beatles did it with sergeant pepper yep uh if the, those are his two biggest influences i would say this is his sergeant pepper this is his wall yeah uh, uh project and i think most sure. people now see it as that like i mean know, it's right up there something so that. special yeah yeah <laughs> i don't think it was their most commercially successful you know, i mean obviously you do bigger... it to make money right otherwise he could just yeah they had bigger know. hits but you can just tell there's so much it's a pet project love you know? and yeah, yeah creativity just poured into yeah this i wonder it's i a wonder classic, it's a classic album to I, me man if we ever get like so famous one day where like we're howard stern and we can have like these guys you know we can have anybody we want on yeah that's uh what's his name uh, love. anthony fantano like i talked to you about he always does like interviews with artists he's interviewed damon alburn before he's a fascinating guy i would fascinating love to guy. have the uh, wouldn't you love to do that oh yeah i mean just pick their brain so when you made this like you know or even after even looking back now where does it rank <laughs> yeah that guy's a genius he's still they're still making music their last album was pretty bad but mm. the one mm. before that i liked a lot mm. but it's one of those i mean he could to me he could never tarnish his you know he, the uh, past success he has yeah. so many classic records like this he, he like, left his mark yeah it's he's yeah. already done his job anything from now on is just i still listen because yeah there's still so much creativity there you mm -hmm. know his favorite i think i said this when we did last one you know his favorite artist of all time this is is billy eilish this is her number one hands down 
favorite artist is Gorillaz, Damon Albarn. Interesting. Like she said it in many multiple interviews. No like, kidding. To this day, like since she was a kid up until now. Really? This is her number one. So, Enjoyed yeah, it. I don't know how many other people love it as much as I do. I think it's a pretty well-loved album. Oh, but yeah. I, I mean, mean as a new listen, it wasn't um, something that took uh, a, a while for me to, you know, absorb. You get hooked pretty fast, right? Yeah. 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 And even the slow songs or like, you know, the ballads that they may not be memorable, but they're they're pleasant enough to listen to as you're listening to the whole project. Yeah. And this is uh, one too. There's so many songs like you say, you said before, you could pick so many of these out and just play them on their own and. They're one just off. as good as yep. if you were to let the whole. Yep. Yep. You know? I agree. Like if you just plucked this guy out of there. <laughs> you go, I knew you were going to pull it up. It's, it's hard to resist. Like, <laughs> you could play this anytime, <laughs> any place. <laughs> if you're new here, consider subscribing. Yeah, um, jo join the journey. It's not just rap. It's not just Taylor. It's, yeah. Uh, I mean, you'll see all our past videos if yeah. you scroll through. We, we, we do pretty much anything. Anything. Um, anything. Whatever we think is good. So yeah, if you enjoyed, subscribe or like the video or both. Leave a comment. Uh, let it me know. It helps us continue to do this. Yeah. Let me know if you have as many memories as I do connected or if you found them later. I mean, this is like already a nostalgic quote unquote album to me because like <laughs> it's as far back as I can remember finding and listening to music on my own and enjoying it you'll have to let your brother know that we did it and see yeah if he uh oh i guarantee you right now if i sent you if i told him he'd be like <laughs> he'd be like yeah man i remember <laughs> um so yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for listening we'll see you next week with a new album and a video peace <laughs>